Hey, it's Mike. Let's talk about Reaper. Today I'd like to talk about auditioning faders. This is a great way for you to be able to test fader movements for a static mix without committing to it. Let's take a look. I'll play a little bit of this project just to give us an idea of what we're working with. That sounds pretty good, but let's see what it would sound like if I were to turn the drums down. As you can see, I did that the normal way by grabbing the drums fader and turning it down, but now I'm stuck with that movement. Now I can press Ctrl Z to undo that to go back where I started, but there's another way. With fader auditioning, if you hold Alt on your keyboard while dragging a fader, as long as I release the mouse button while I'm still holding Alt, that fader will return back to its original position. So let's try that now. I'm holding Alt, and I'm turning down the fader. And I don't like that, so I'm going to let go of the mouse button while still holding Alt, and it will return back to its original position. Conversely, if I like that fader movement, if I release Alt and then release the mouse button, that fader movement will be committed. Let's check it out. Right, so I'm going to turn the drums down just a little bit while holding Alt. And if I like that, I'm going to let go of Alt first, and then my mouse button, and it stays right where I left it. This was a short one, but I hope it helps. If you like the content you're seeing, be sure to like, share, and subscribe to the channel, and you can support me further by clicking the link below to buy me a coffee. I like coffee. Hey, it's Mike. Let's talk about Cyberpunk 2077. Wait, sorry, wrong channel.